All right, what's up YouTube? Today we're just gonna jump right into it. I've seen numerous, hundreds of questions regarding the Alta, the top speed, how fast it gets up to speed, obviously the run time, which I don't think I need to cover, and some of the specs. So today we're gonna run you through. Um, it's been charging, or should be full charge. And I plan to show you the zero to 60 times from map one through four, which I'll show you in a minute how in the whole operating system, I guess you could say. So uh, I'll go pick up Justin, we'll get the bike loaded up, and then uh, we'll head to the disclosed location where we can max this thing out so we can get that top speed in each map and then obviously map four which is the highest map we got like 20 30 minutes before it gets dark all right well we made it to the disclosed location full straight away justin's here to film thank you no hooking problem. it up with the shots today but um get this thing out we are very limited on daylight I'm gonna give you a little rundown on the maps before we get going for the people that haven't seen the Alta. Basically to go through the maps if you haven't seen an Alta before, here are your modes. So uh, typically I have mine reversed because I put it on backwards. But typically up is to go up in mode. So right now we're on map one. And then you can switch to the maps of one, two, three, and four. Four being obviously the fastest, one being the slowest. So basically, like I said, I'm just gonna run you through the maps. We're gonna do the zero to 60 times. I'm probably gonna do three runs per map. And then I'll try and put the times up on the GoPro to kind of match up with each map, if that makes any sense. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to see what the actual true top speed is in map four, because I actually have never tested it. And that's the most common question I've seen on the channel. So I guess we'll start out with map one and we'll see how fast we can go and how fast we can get to 60. Well, that was map one the three times in map one it took literally the whole way to hit 60 i think i only hit 62 so i think maxed out in map one is about 60 miles an hour which isn't too bad honestly it takes a while to get there like i said but, but yeah so there's the potential in map one I'll headlight yeah we got the cops coming right now this thing's too loud but if you guys want to see more videos like this one make sure you're subscribed give the video a thumbs up if you want to see more e-bike content but uh yeah we'll throw it in map two I thought you only did it once in map one. That was only wave. <laughs> people don't care out here. No, people don't care about e-bikes. <laughs> Not in real life or on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe what, five miles an hour faster and one map up? Map two is like the perfect mode I always run it in pretty much all the time. I never need anything more than map two, just cruising around and hitting most of the jumps. So I honestly haven't really used map four, three or four. So, map two looks like it's 67 miles an hour maxed out. So, uh, it's quite a bit. I pretty much hit 60 before I passed you, for the <laughs> most part. And it, I didn't hit 60 till way past that sign before. So, I guess now we'll hit map three and see how much faster it is. Make sure you're watching because I'm afraid a deer is going to step out of these woods. Oh, true. I'm like kind of. Just right. point the GoPro down at it, you know. rolling burnout. more 
torque, that's for sure. The problem with three and four is you can't keep the front end down at all. At least off the start. Map 3 is quite a bit torquier, like just giving it throttle just wants to wheelie <laughs> up. Off the start I have to like not give it to it because it just lifts off the ground. So I don't think I need to do three runs in three. We'll just go to four because I'm sure that's what all you want to see. I guess we'll go to the big boy mode and we'll see how fast it is. Well how fast was that? It still did 67. Maxed out. Oh. So we'll see. Let's see. I'm really curious to see how the Supermoto version is, if that's geared different or mapped differently than the MX and MXR versions. All right, map four. Still 67 maxed out. So it just increases the torque just wants to lift up. It's got a stupid amount of torque. was that still max is at 67 really yeah got all these dead bugs on my lens <laughs> to just smoke at that <laughs> <laughs> those bugs will Ugh. never have the guts to do that again that's nasty yeah all right it really is only 67 yeah, max out 67 i'm surprised mike said it does 70 i don't know what's mike maybe mike was going on a slight slope potentially but are you getting it all the way there like dude, are you I'm able mad. to hold it I'm for a long it. time yeah i'm holding it for a while and man it's not and it know. won't budge, so, huh? 67, I'm sure if I geared it differently, we could probably get it to 80. That's probably what they do with the Supermotos, like I was saying on GoPro. But 67, like, it's fast enough, you know? Yeah, it goes about as know. fast as a Grom. <laughs> yeah, it does go as fast as a Grom. So, map four just wheelies, like, ever, like, if you blip the throttle, it's wheeling. Like, I was going probably 40 miles an hour, blip the throttle, wheelies. It's just... <laughs> so much instant torque. <laughs> so I think you guys can now see the top speed on this thing. I thought it was faster to be honest. So uh, I thought it would do at least 70. At least 70. Maybe slight downhill he could get it to 70 but just straight line, 67 miles an hour maxed out. Obviously I wasn't counting in my head, but I think we got to 60 in like three seconds. So basically Probably. what happens is it's the same top speed from map two. You just get more torque delivery sooner. Essentially, yeah. Map one, it maxed out at like 61, maybe 62. So it's the same speed from map two to four. Obviously just giving you more torque along the way, so. Here's a kind of a rundown on the Alta for the people that are interested in the Alta. For the people that aren't, um, I am covered in bugs. Yeah, welcome to riding, dog. So, you got to get a nice, like, Harley shield for it. The bugs on the front plate, too, all covered. I know a lot of you guys have been digging the e-bike content lately. I've kind of been um, pushing everything off on the back burner. I've been having so much fun on this thing, kind of mobbing around, cruising around. So, more gas bike, e-bike content to come once I get that pit bike dialed in. And uh, for the people that don't like this thing, but... Along with a pretty big surprise coming here soon, Justin kind of knows, maybe, potentially in the works, another vehicle should be in the garage here soon. So leave a comment what you think that is. Obviously a Harley. Obviously a Harley. If you want to see hints for that, you should follow me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan. It'll be on the screen if you want to see some hints on what the, the new vehicle coming in is. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll load this thing back up and we'll head out since it's... We'll do an easy e-bike load. 
Ryan, take notes. Come on, you're gonna do Ryan like that? He's not even here to uh, defend himself. Oh, I'm sure I'll hear about it. Come on. Thank you to uh, Alta for creating a monster and uh... And thank you to Harley for buying it and no, uh, sticking it in a file drawer. <laughs> they put Alta out of business. No, Alta ruined itself. No, no, no. I don't think Harley even, I think they discontinued that electric Harley because it wasn't selling, right? I'm Nothing's sure. happened yet. What? Nothing's happened yet. I thought they That's the thing with e-bikes is that no, uh, nobody Harley. knows. Nobody what? knows. About what? E-Harleys? E-anything, really. That's why Alta didn't do well in the first place. Because everybody's like, in the I'm comments, thinking. like, I don't know, man. Gas bikes or I'll stay with my gas bikes. It's yeah. just like people don't want to buy e-lawnmowers, you know? It's similar. People well, aren't Alta, ready for E. In the sense that I don't think the hardcore Harley guys are going to buy an electric motorcycle because think about the hardcore like oh i ride a harley you know yeah that's me i wouldn't buy one <laughs> you know what i mean though i definitely know what you mean god i love e-bikes it's time for a well, day in the life successful... video you want a day in a life yeah we'll have to make a day in the life here soon let me know if you want to see a day in the life because justin wants to see it apparently well i know i just want to see justin, it yeah he I want to see, see how much he butchers form. the edit to make himself look like he doesn't live like a normal human. So if you have not gotten your entries in to win the CR125, if you... If you haven't gotten your entries in to win the CR125, I just restocked on the dangle mount, so if you're looking to get a dangle mount, now is the time, along with the key tags. I just released the holographic color shift clap stickers, if you guys haven't seen these from last year. They uh, change colors in each like kind of direction you look at it. Um, each cut individually, like the other vinyl clap stickers. I got the number plate, the Moto Dude stickers all in a sticker pack, along with the TMMX shirts, both in the normal logo, along with the electric logo for the Alta right here. So every $5 spent gives you one entry to win that thing. The link to my website is linked at the top of the description if you want to order something and get some entries in to win that thing. To cap this out, a few days ago I mentioned I'm giving away um, the two pairs of goggles and the hats in a few orders. So uh, Luke T is the winner of the goggles. And we got Jensen T, who also ordered a clapped key tag, is going to win the other pair of goggles. Huge thank you to everyone who's ordered something so far. I'm super busy trying to pack up your orders and get all that sorted every day. These dangle mounts have been super popular. You really can't go wrong. I use it in this video. I use it in every single video I film with the GoPro. Just a simple clip. I don't really need to explain it. I've shown it like 30 times.